Welcome back to PSC Stack Byte. This week, I want to talk with you about how you can leverage the TMP provisioning engine to automate the provisioning of teams in Microsoft Teams. In fact, uh, since a while ago, we have been providing the TMP provisioning engine to provision artifacts, information architecture, settings, and much more things uh, targeting your Office 365 tenant. But recently, we introduced also the capability to provision teams in Microsoft Teams. And you can do that either using a JSON-based template, uh, which relies on the JSON that you can also use uh, uh, if you want to directly leverage the Microsoft Graph to create a new team in Microsoft Teams. Or you can use the declarative XML-based approach, which relies on the XML provisioning schema of PMP. And lastly, you can clone an already existing team and eventually change uh, its settings or its content infrastructure still using the declarative approach that we have uh, in PMP. So let me move to the demo environment and let me show you how you can use this functionality in practice. So here I am in Microsoft Teams uh, and let's say that in this uh, specific tenant I want to add uh, some custom teams uh, with uh, a predefined uh, hierarchy of content, uh, so predefined channels, predefined tabs, and stuff like that. Using the PMP provisioning engine, we can use an XML-based uh, document, which will be the provisioning template, uh, through which we can, leveraging the schema 2019-09 or 2019-03, we can provision teams, and we can either use the PMP team template element, which will uh, leverage a JSON-based uh, uh, template uh, for a team, or we can use the PMP team element, which will provide us the capability to configure all of the settings of a team, like for example the fan settings, the guest setting, member settings, messaging settings, as well as to configure the security settings, so who, oops, sorry, who will be the owners and the members of our target team, uh, the channels that we want to provision, including the tabs in those channels, for example, here I'm provisioning uh, a tab uh, of type web which will uh, rely on Microsoft Bing uh, and another one of type wiki and another one which will show a document library. Moreover, we can even write uh, welcome messages in the channel that we're going to provision. And we can also eventually clone a team from an already existing one, still using the PMP team element, but declaring that we want to clone from a specific team ID. And by doing that, uh, we want to reconfigure some of the settings of the team that will be cloned. Like for example, and again, the fan guest member of messaging settings or the security, or we want to add a custom channel to the cloned team. In order to leverage this schema, you can simply use PowerShell and you can connect to your target tenant using the connect PMP online command letter and providing the URL of your SharePoint online target environment. And then you will simply use the apply PMP tenant template providing the URL or the path of the XML template that you ought to use in order to uh, feed the apply PMP tenant template with the path argument. So let's do that. Let's start this command let and let's move to the team web UI. And here pretty soon you will see that the teams will show up and we already have the first one provision using the JSON template and now the second one provision using the uh, declarative approach. You can see that I have the custom channels that are showing up uh, one by one during the provisioning phase and pretty soon we will also see the provisioning of the cloned team uh, starting from an already existing team that we are going to clone from. So let me switch back for a while to uh, PowerShell to show you that it is still working. And if I go back one more time to my Teams UI, as you can see, here I will have the clone team and all the other stuff. If I go, for example, to this team, we can see that in general we have the predefined general channel, but we have the provision one in which we have a wiki page, a document library, Bing, uh, the welcome messages, and everything else. So we can completely automate the provisioning of our uh, infrastructure for our teams uh, and make it easier for our business users to create a team pre-configured with a predefined set of channels, tabs and settings. And that's really powerful. As usual, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and I'm really looking forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.